Today I'm going to show you a very handy tool for doing network debugging in your native script apps or any mobile apps really that you're developing on an iOS simulator. That's coming right up. Hey everybody, this is Alex. Welcome back. If you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel. We do native script tips, tricks, and tutorials here. And if you do want to learn more about native script, check out the links down below. So today we're looking at debugging HTTP traffic. And there are a few different ways of doing this. One way is to look at Chrome while you're debugging, but that doesn't give you all the information, especially if you've got images in your application and you might want to see how often your image gets downloaded and what the status of the image download is. The image is being downloaded behind the scenes and not through your HTTP stack. And therefore, it happens actually through the native stack. And that's not something that you can log or visibly see through HTTP debugging as you would normally do in the application level. So we're gonna sniff the traffic and we're gonna do this with a tool called Charles. Now I'm on a Mac, Charles is made for a Mac. If you are on Windows or Linux, there's other tools that can do this. Wireshark is a very popular tool and you're gonna need to do some special configuration for SSL decryption with Wireshark. I'm going to show you how to do this with Charles on a Mac with iOS simulator. Charles makes this super easy because it automatically is going to install certificates for us in order to be able to view and decrypt HTTPS traffic. All right, let's have a look. You can download Charles and you can use it for free. There's a demo mode. It actually gets pretty annoying because it makes you wait until a countdown ends. This is just to annoy you so you'd buy the product. And I'm not even sure how much it costs, but usually it's the demo trial is enough for me to get what I need from it. So here I've created a new application and we're gonna do two things here. One is we're gonna play around with just a regular HTTP request. And the other one is I have an image in the HTML here. And the image is not something I have to specifically request. It gets requested behind the scenes by NativeScript through the native layer. So I specify an HTTPS source pointing to an image on Unsplash in this case. And let's go ahead and run this. So I'm gonna say NS run iOS and it's gonna pop it up on that simulator I've got going on right there. All right, so here is what the app looks like. And we have a little button at the top and we have an image that was downloaded. So let's take a look at the button tap event handler, which is right here. Here we are. When we tap on that button, we make an HTTP GET request to this endpoint right here. It's also HTTPS. And the reason that's, you know, something important that I want to point out is both of the image and this call are to HTTPS. That means that this traffic is encrypted. We're going to have to decrypt it in order to view it. So we're making a call here, a GET request to this free endpoint. It's Actually, HTTP bin.org is used for HTTP testing. So this should return us something. We don't really care what it is. We just want to see the traffic. Okay, so we're going to pop open Charles here and it has two controls up here. We have a record mode and we have a clear mode. Now I have Google tabs open. So I'm going to have a bunch of traffic here going through. Just ignore all that. I'll point out the ones we need. So I'm gonna clear it periodically and record it only when I need to. So I'm gonna hit record here. And then let's go over here and hit tap. And I'm gonna pause the recording. Okay, so when I hit that tap button, you saw that we got this HTTP bin right here. And when I select that here in the structure, you'll see there's a lock icon. A lock icon means, well, you can't see that because it's decrypted. So if we pop this open, we take a look here and we see the response and it's all jumbled up. That's what an encrypted response looks like. Now there's another thing here, which is this image. So in order to see that going through, I need to keep recording it when the app actually boots up. So I'm gonna stop the app here. Actually, let me go ahead and force close the app. Double tap on home, force close that. And let me start the recording up and open up the app. Okay, now it should actually pop up that image and there it is right there. I'm gonna stop the recording. Here it is, Unsplash. So let me delete these other two. I'm gonna clear the ones we don't need. Okay, here is the image that we're trying to get and it's also encrypted. So we can't really tell what's going on here. In fact, it's 
pretty large, so it's slowing down my Charles. And then I get this message, unlicensed copy of Charles will only run for 30 minutes. So I'm gonna have to restart it. This is the message that you get if you don't actually buy the license. All right, so I've restarted Charles. You can see that my sessions are actually cleared out now. Now, what can we do? First of all, to be able to see that traffic, to be able to decrypt it and see the actual responses coming through. And secondly, I wanna be able to do the same thing for images. Images is not something I have control over. As you can see, there was no special HTTP pipeline that I had to send images through. So I'm gonna show you how to do this with Charles and this will automatically decrypt your images. Let's go ahead and do that. Under help, I don't know why they put it under help, but it's under there. SSL proxying. What you want to do is say install Charles root certificate in iOS simulators. All right, so we're going to select that option. But before I do, you can see that we have install Charles root certificate, Java VMs install on a mobile device or remote browser. So this means that you can even have a mobile device like your phone, if you're debugging on a phone plugged into your computer and install certificate on there as well and see the traffic going back and forth. I'm just gonna do the simulator part right here. This tells me the Charles Root certificate has been added to your iOS simulators. Great. Now it should be decrypting my traffic, which is really cool. So let's try that. First, we need to record. I'm gonna hit tap and let's hit the record again. Let's take a look at that traffic right there. Okay, so here's the response. It still looks like it's encrypted. So what I'm gonna do is restart Charles just to make sure. I'm also gonna restart the simulator just to have a clean slate. So I'm gonna run that again. It's gonna pop up my simulator and start up Charles again. Let's clear that up. My application restarts and there we go. Now let's take a look at Charles. I'm gonna record and I'm gonna hit tab here and we'll see that we're still not decrypted. So there is one more thing we have to do. We're looking at HTTPS, HTTP bin.org. Let's go to proxy and then SSL proxy settings. And over here in the include, let's go ahead and add our host. And our host here is HTTP bin.org. I'm gonna click okay here, make sure it's in the list. Click okay. Let's go ahead and record and clear everything. And I'm gonna hit tap. Okay, all these other traffic keep popping up. So now you see the icon is a little bit different here. You can see that it's got a little lightning bolt there. What that means is that it actually did get decrypted. So we have a get request and in the response, you can see now the JSON that came back. You've got the headers, you've got the URL, and there you go. So you can take a look at the response down here. Here are the headers, the text, the hex, if you can read that, and then the JSON structures if you wanna drill through that. I like to look at it as JSON text data. All right, so that's taken care of one of them. Now, what about the image? Can the image also be shown? I'm gonna do that trick again where I force close the application and make sure my recording is on. And I'm gonna start the app and let's see that Unsplash URL come through. There it is. So Unsplash is still locked. That means we need to go up back to proxy, SSL proxy settings, and we need to add the unsplash URL here. So for every new URL, new host that you need to decrypt, you need to add it here. Here, you can even do star.unsplash.com. I'm gonna click okay. Okay again, let's stop the recording, clear everything, do that whole thing again where I'm gonna force close the application and make sure I start recording and open the application. Okay. So take a look at this. I'm gonna hit tap here just so we get everything in there and stop the recording. Now we have the HTTP bin, we saw that already. And we also have that images.unsplash.com. Here it is, and we have a photo. So check it out, we actually have the photo URL right there. You can even have image preview of it right down here. Now it's a pretty large image, so it doesn't fit, of course, and there's no way to scroll this, I don't think, no. There is no way to scroll this, but you can see that this is part of that wall in that corner. It's a large image. So this is how you can also debug image HTTP requests in your native script applications or in any mobile application, really. Charles is the way to do it on a Mac. All right, that's it for today, folks. Hopefully you found this interesting or educational or both. And if you're not subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one.